Okay, uh, I'm Eichel Gamar. Uh, I'm RDO Release Wrangler and also working on upstream RPM packaging for OpenStack. So, in short, RPM packaging is a group trying to work on common pack RPM packaging for all OpenStack products upstream so that we can use these RPM artifacts for our upstream CI and also seeing the downstream distribution because a lot of the work we're doing on RPM packaging is common to many different distributions, be it SUSE Cloud, RDO, or maybe other RPM distribution wants to create their own RPM packaging. So we decided that most of the work we do is pretty much the same thing. So let's try to to work collaboratively and also build some tooling around OpenStack packaging. So let's discuss about uh, the main event of the day because today it's uh, OpenStack Upstream GA and uh, we were able to uh, finalize our DOG Okata GA uh, well within the two hours before the after the uh, Upstream GA announcement and including CI uh, we're still pending on uh, repo publication uh, well. As Rich uh, not noticed uh, early this morning, we were busy in the lobby with Alan, uh, trying to finalize uh, the audio bits. So with the other guys, uh, we're not here in Atlanta, but uh, well, we had a lot of fun. So we. Uh, so what's yeah, so, uh, what else happened during the uh, Okata cycle in your work? In your work, okay. Um, okay. Um, I'll separate into bits. Uh, for RPM packaging, I was a PTL for the Okata cycle. So we worked uh, into trying to have a proof of concept of minimum cloud. So RPM packaging should be able to be to be uh, used to run a minimal cloud. So Nova, Swift, the Neutron, and have all the packages ready upstream and have, and every time upstream try. Does a release? We have the packages ready. Uh, we didn't make it for this cycle, but uh, we're still working on that, and we make good progress. We also improved our tooling, so uh, we can try. We can now generate uh, new packages from new projects uh, using uh, that tooling, and also just okay RPM packaging package that new project. We can use the spec file generated from RPM packaging to RDO. That's one of the few achievements that we had during this cycle. For RDO, uh, I was focusing on build automation. So now uh, we have uh, improved that. And uh, I'm st I still have work on going to enabling more and more tasks, release engineering tasks to be uh, done by either uh, people on my team or even community members. Uh, most of the work uh, to do RDO boost now go through Garrett, so accessible to anyone who has an account on GitHub. So we are making good progress and for Pike we're trying to work on automation again and make it even better. Now one thing that I've noticed that we've talked about a little bit is yeah. that the more we automate, yeah. the more difficult it is for ah. new community members to find something to do. Yeah. So um, do you have any thoughts on how we might address that in uh, the coming years? Uh, one of the uh, things that we can do immediately is that, well, more documentation, more narrative documentation, if I want to be more explicit. Uh, we've been bad at that in the past. I've seen improvement thanks to people like Jakub Ruzika, and uh, also Chandan Kumar who wrote many blog posts. Thank you guys because I'm bad at writing blog posts. And uh, it get better because uh, for most of the tasks I can now point them to actual how-to and uh, they are often good enough for the people. One of the few things I'd love to do is uh, having more mentoring sessions like if anyone wants to contribute to RDO and I'm speaking to you people who are looking at this, uh, feel free to ping us and say, hey, we want to help you, but we don't know how. So if 
if you will need mentors, just ping us and we'll work it out. Because uh, Erdu is community project, so it's, it's important that uh, we build a very vibrant community and uh, so we're more than pleased to help you guys. And to that, um, well, we also tried different different things in the past, like uh, Google Summer of Codes. Uh, it was, uh, not, I'm not sure that uh, it was uh, the right way, but we should try again uh, Summer of Code and getting students involved, like uh, maybe university outreach could be a good thing to think about.